every conversation I have with a Mormon always ends up in the same place where they're saying, wait, no, I'm a Christian too. But are Mormons Christians? We're going to take a look at the six major differences between Mormonism and Christianity. We're going to be looking at both doctrines and comparing the similarities and the differences. And here's a little spoiler alert. There's a little bit more contradictions than there are similarities. Make sure to stick around for the video because they kind of get crazier and crazier. So the first difference comes from the question, who is God? Seems like a pretty straightforward question, right? Well, the views are kind of different. In Christianity, we believe that God is the personal, eternal, infinite creator of the universe. He's all-knowing, all-powerful, everywhere at once, and he's the only God that there is. He exists eternally as a trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. One God, three persons, all equally divine. And we get this theology from Matthew 28, 19, 2 Corinthians 13, 14, 1 Corinthians 12, 4 through 5, Ephesians 4, 4 through 6, 1 Peter 1, 2, and Revelation 1, 4 through 5. So Mormons actually believe that God is an exalted man with a physical body. That means he has flesh and he has bones just like us. And Mormons also completely reject the Trinitarian doctrine of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And they say that all three entities are completely separate. This is the first major difference because historically, Christianity is agreed on that Trinitarian doctrine, and so Mormonism is completely rejecting that, which is kind of a red flag. The second difference comes from the question, who is Jesus? So Christians believe that Jesus is God incarnate. He existed eternally with God, and he put on flesh and bones as a man on earth born of Virgin Mary. Now on earth, he had two natures, his divine nature and his human nature. He was all God and he was all man. He lived a sinless life and therefore he was able to die on a cross for our sins, for our transgressions, redeeming our right standing with God in the death, the burial, and the resurrection. So Mormons believe that Jesus isn't the same as God, but Jesus actually was born of God. Now this gets a little fuzzy because since Jesus was born from God, they believe that Jesus is actually our eldest brother. See, they believe that all men and women on earth are brother and sisters, and so therefore because Jesus was born of God and was not God, were siblings with him. This is also where the Satan is Jesus' brother comes in. I don't know, that gets kind of hairy. And Mormons believe that his death granted everybody immortality. Regardless of their faith, regardless of who they put their trust in, they believe that the atonement of Jesus is for every single person on earth. So we're kind of over two right now. Now, the third thing that we're covering is the Holy Scriptures. So Christians believe that the Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, is all divinely inspired by God. It is his breath, it is his truth, and it is the foundation and the reference that we as Christians have when it comes to understanding what truth is and how to navigate in this world. It is the sole authority when it comes to Christian faith and practice. So Mormons believe that the Bible is true, quote, as far as it has been translated correctly. Now, I know that's confusing language, and I was confused as well, because back in the 1800s, Joseph Smith, who was the self-proclaimed prophet of Mormonism, he came out and said that, oh, there's actually more works that are inspired by God. There's the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine of Covenants, the Pearl of the Great Price, and anybody who happens to be president of the religion actually has the authority to translate. And so Mormons have added works onto the inspired word of God. And what's actually interesting is Joseph Smith actually said that the Book of Mormon was the most accurate book on earth, making it more accurate than the Holy Bible. Now, obviously, that is a huge contradiction to the Christian faith because we believe that nothing can be added and nothing can be taken away from the Holy Scriptures. And some of the things that were added with Mormonism, we'll get to in just a second. The fourth major difference is how we view humanity. Christians believe that God created man out of his own likeness and his own image. We are image bearers of God and he breathed us into existence. Because of this, we obviously bear his image and his likeness. Now, Mormons describe humans as gods in embryo. They believe that we are actually pre-existed spiritual offspring of the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Mother. Now, I know you're probably thinking, who is the Heavenly Mother? And I don't know. 
Another thing that Mormons believe is as man is, God once was. So as God is, man may become. So they're saying that we are gods in embryo, meaning that one day we could potentially be gods. So that is obviously one of the biggest red flags here that we're seeing in the difference between Christianity and Mormonism is we're not gods, we're never gonna be gods, but according to Mormons, that's not the case. Which kind of leads us into the fifth difference, which is sin and salvation. So Christians believe that we are born into sin. Because of the original sin of Adam and Eve, everybody is born into sin. Now because of Jesus' death and resurrection, what happens is we are now completely forgiven if we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. We are saved by grace through faith. Mormons believe that people sin by disobeying God, which this is amazing. There's a similarity right there. However, Mormons believe that Jesus' atonement is for everybody's immortality. There are different levels of immortality that people will fall into based on what they do in this life. Which finally leads us into the sixth and craziest difference, in my opinion, is what happens after we die. So Christians believe that there's two realities. You either go to heaven or you go to hell. You spend eternity in one place or you spend eternity in the other. Mormons believe in three levels of the afterlife. The first level is if you follow all the LDS teachings, what happens is you actually get to become a god yourself and you actually get to have spirit children and essentially rule over a planet like this. So Mormons believe that one day if they're faithful to their teachings, then they're actually going to rule a planet of their own with their own children and offspring. And it's kind of like a repetitive cycle. The mid tier people are those that live righteous lives, but we're not Mormons, which I don't know really know what that means. But what happens with them is they actually get to live forever and eternity, but they don't get all the perks of those that followed the LDS teachings. And then the third level is those that didn't live good lives, that didn't live righteously that didn't follow the LDS teachings and they are on the bottom of the bottom but it's not hell they live in eternity and they don't get to have all the perks and goodness but they don't go to hell it's not eternal punishment so through all these differences it's hard for me to think about how a Mormon can be a Christian I mean just because they proclaim to be Christians doesn't mean that they are Christians there are requirements there are regulations there are standards that people have to meet in order to be considered a Christian and in my opinion, Mormons just don't meet that criteria. So next time somebody comes up to you and talks to you about Mormonism and how they're Christians, hopefully you have a little bit more in your tool belt to help you in that conversation. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.